from it. The SS3 Majin Vegeta. Who am I getting that? Yeah, because that's another thing. The the Kid Boo, the Secret Rare Kid Boo, and the Secret Rare Broly in that set, it's going up now. It's it's gone up even more in price. So pretty much, it's it's happened again. The people, when I told you about all oh, the, the the people's, they've actually someone's on eBay and he's got the full sets and he's got those cards, the Secret Rares, the Broly, and the in the Boo, and he was selling them for sixty five quid each. The Broly now, so I think the Broly's worth more than the Boo, because the effects. And I think the Broly now, because it's, because it's it's the second attempt, man. It's like it's actually the second most priced card. I think it's the last time I saw it, it's going for about 375 quid, and the Boo, I think it's going for about nearly 200. And obviously, it's still not beating that Goku yet. And obviously the Goku is going up even more since you can't buy him anymore. It's because of the effects, because especially the Boo one. If you when you summon him, or you you evolve him from him absorbing Bobbity, it allows him. So I think he's got other effects like dual attack, critical, and stuff. It allows him when you summon him or evolve him, you can actually summon. All five of the destruction rare fucking cards. So it's pretty much like an Exodia in a way. Because the effects on the destruction rares are fucking stupid and all. Because like, the Vegeta is going for about 25 quid. Because of its effects. It's got stupid effects. This is where they are. Because that's the reason why that Broly. The Broly from the movie, leader. That's the reason why that's so high priced. Why is it 20 quid? Because of its effects. That's one down. So I think its main effects is you gain one, but they discard one. Or you can destroy, you destroy one and they destroy one on the field or something. I think that's what it's like. I could be wrong. Yeah, and also, there were a conference, I think it's, it finished today, PAX East, an event, and uh, obviously the Mortal Kombat people were there, and they revealed another character, uh, Noob Cybot. And they also revealed uh, another trailer, well, the Crypt. It's kind of it's like, a, they've, they've kind of had it on Mortal Kombat for ages. It originally started off as like a mode thing where you run around and learn moves, and the, pl the person that you play as it's like you learn moves and stuff, and then you fight against more combat people and stuff. And then it turns out to be the dude that you're playing as is like the dude who fucking learn everybody. He's like everybody in one, pretty much like a, like a Bruce Lee in a way. Techniques that people had, while well, people have got, they learned it from him in a way. And then the the exhaust also on the trailer, they revealed uh, Shang Tsung, and it says that is going to be uh, the, the first DLC. And the other good thing about it is the the his actual face 
and obviously his voice, it's actually the dude from the film that played Shang Tsung. From the real life Mortal Kombat film that they did. It's actually him who played Shang Tsung. He's Shang Tsung on the game.